j'ai percé, moi j'ai percé 300, imagine-toi. <rire> Guys got a PLC 320. Anyway, someone stops me from going to the hardware store again. I just painted my loop antenna here on the terrace, and uh, you can see my J pole here for two meters. What I don't have, however, of course, is an antenna for six meters. <laughs> Hence the delta loop. A delta loop antenna can be pretty much any shape you want. You can make it a circle, and that would be the best solution because you have the largest surface. The bigger the surface, the better, the circle being the best. Uh, it could be an octagon, of course, now keep in mind the delta, well, the loop antenna is a full wave loop, but it's not a magnetic loop antenna. Uh, the next best shape would be probably a rectangle or a square. And then in our case, uh, I'm going to make it a triangle. Now sometimes people make it a triangle with the, with the pointy end up, or they can make it with the pointy end down. The polarization depends on where you feed the antenna. For instance, if you feed it here, it's going to be vertically polarized. Same as if you feed it here, and actually uh, the best spot here is about one third up the bottom for this triangle. Uh, here you could feed it, for instance, at the bottom, and that would make it a uh, horizontally polarized antenna. In our case, once again, we're going to make it a triangle. Why a triangle? Well, because it's going to be simpler to build and to use. You need only one attachment point here at the top. The feeding is going to be here, and the bottom here will be rigid, so that I can hang this triangle from a tree, and it's going to be wire, of course, hang it from a tree or a pole and uh, the bottom will remain straight which will give the uh, triangle its shape. Calculating the size of the loop is pretty simple. In feet it's going to be 1005 divided by the frequency in megahertz or for the metric system 306.6 .6 divided by the frequency. So if I but 51.5 here, we get 5.95 meters, <laughs> really close to 6 meters, really. Now the problem with a full wave loop is that you don't get 50 ohms here, you get about maybe 100 to 120. So we're going to have to change this impedance and lower it to 50 ohms, because we want 50 ohms. The way to do that is to use a 75 ohm cable, a quarter wave, one quarter wave of our loop total length, which is 5.95 divided by 4, 1.48 meters. Now we have to consider the velocity factor of the cable and that's 0.66. So multiplied by 0 0.66, that's 0 0.977. Hmm, that's pretty close to a meter, isn't it? Well, <laughs> here's your answer. I got a 1 meter 75 ohm cable, and that's going to lower my impedance to 50 ohms. For the bottom of the antenna, I just got a 2 meter wooden angle. Believe it or not, I could not find single multi-strand wire. I had to buy this uh, speaker wire, of course, which is a pair. So I'm just going to have to cut uh, three meters out of this and uh, split it and uh, solder it. <laughs> it's ridiculous. No matter how small the job, you need to do it right. Things you're going to make are going to last longer and you're going to be proud of them.
I'm thinning the ends of the cable that will go into the BNC adapter. The wire will simply go through the angle here. It should be just the right size, there we go. And I'm going to pull about 50 centimeters from uh, the bottom here for the feed point. This is probably not going to work. I don't think that metal can be soldered on. But it's worth a try. At least uh, this will prevent the wire from uh, slipping off. Just make a big blob of solder on that. The wire is simply nested inside of the angle and I really should get a hot glue gun so I could uh, glue this inside. Actually, I'm going to do that. And so we have our triangle here with the 2 meter bottom angle. For the top of the triangle I just used a ring here and uh, one of those tie wraps. And we have our feeding point right here. And of course into that we are going to plug in our 75 ohm 1 meter cable. Now on this side we'll have the 75 ohm cable and we're going to plug in a 50 ohm cable directly to it. Of course for that I need an adapter so we'll plug that in and now I can plug in my 50 ohm coax into the 75 ohm coax. Alright this is just for testing. <laughs> I set up my mast here in my little uh, workbench and uh, it goes up uh, almost to the roof. This triangle uh, doesn't have the greatest shape but uh, it should work. Here you can see the 50 ohm cable going into the 75 ohm matching cable and uh, to the feed point on the loop. Well, the lowest SWR seems to be on 48.180 MHz, <laughs> which is not what I was hoping for. It's pretty high on 51.5, but the good news is uh, that means my loop is too long. And here I just uh, removed the matching cable, the 75 ohm uh, 1 meter matching cable, and uh, the SWR went up, so it does show that uh, it does work. Now I just have to shorten the loop a bit. All right, I have 48.18 as my lowest SWR frequency, multiplied by 5.95 equals 286.7. And this is going to be my new formula. Remember, I used 306.6. That doesn't work. So I'm going to take now 286.7 divided by 51.5 and that gives me 5.57. That means I have to shorten my cable by 38 centimeters. Well, that's much better, isn't it? 1.53 to 1. And now I can transmit. Oui, vas-y, hein, ici, F4, euh, whisky, bravo, Yankee, ici, à Antibes. Ouais, ok, Gilles, 4WBY, 3 ADMA, ben écoute, pour ton report, là, hein, signal de 8, signal de 9, euh, et très bonne visibilité 5, hein, du 5, 100%, là, hein. Ok, Gilles, QTR sur Monaco, hein, double, 4WBY, 3 ADMA. Ah super, hein, super, hein. Bah, ici un très bon signal aussi, hein. je n'ai pas de S-mètre évidemment, mais c'est du 5 sans problème, hein. ça passe très très bien, hein. très très fort, et oui apparemment elle marche très bien cette antenne là, je viens de me fabriquer cette Delta Loop, et euh, elle est sur la terrasse, hein, et ça a l'air de marcher du tonnerre, hein. à toi Écoute, c'est pareil, hein, pas de différence. Hein. Je vais descendre à 10 watts, moi, un petit, un petit instant. Voilà, je suis passé de 50 watts à 10 watts. 50 watts à 10 watts, ça marche Oui, nickel, hein, Gilles. Nickel, tu as perdu, tu as perdu un point, quoi. Hein, c'est tout, hein. Tu as perdu un point, hein, tout simplement. Hein, mais la, la lisibilité n'a pas changé. Juste le signal qui affaibli de... Un petit point. 4, euh, 4, B, 4 W, B, Y, 3 
Ah bah super, je vais descendre encore, hein. et là je sais pas si ça va marcher, je vais descendre à 3 milliwatts, 3 milliwatts. Ok, je suis à l'écoute. Ok, me voilà sur 3 milliwatts, 3 milliwatts, est-ce que tu me reçois Non, bah apparemment 3 milliwatts ça marche pas, hein. <rire> c'est pas étonnant. Oui, c'est ça, hein, c'est une, une onde complète, hein, donc presque 6 mètres de longueur en triangle euh, alimenté sur le côté. Hein, donc euh, voilà, et ça marche très très bien. Euh, j'ai un, un câble, j'ai un mètre de câble de 75 ohms pour faire le, le matching, quoi, pour, le, pour descendre l'impédance de à peu près 5, 100 ohms euh, au proche de 50 ohms. Hein, et ensuite, j'ai le coax de 50 ohms qui donc, se branche sur le coax de 75 ohms. Hein, et voilà, ça fait, ça fait un très bon match, hein. ça fait un... J'ai du 1.5 sur 1, donc c'est pas trop mal. Ah ouais, ben super, hein. super, ben écoute, je vais, je vais te laisser hein, pour que tu puisses continuer à faire tes essais. Donc, de mon côté, c'est conclu. Hein. Bonsoir Gilles et, et de, bon, de bon QSO. Je passe à QRT. Ciao Gilles, 4 wbg 3 m Allez, salut, merci encore et une excellente soirée. Hein. F4WBY, terminé. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with this antenna already. Mostly because it was so simple to make and it didn't take much time at all. It was pretty cheap too, so hey, what else do you want? The delta loop is almost omnidirectional. Uh, it does favor uh, perpendicular to the plane of the antenna. It has slightly more gain than a dipole actually, not much, just a little bit. The problem with dipoles is that uh, it's difficult to get them far enough off the ground and a delta loop is a little bit less uh, subjected to the proximity of the ground, so it should do a little bit better than a dipole. Next time you'll see it in the field and I'll probably use it pretty often. Have a good one!